Okay, welcome to the World Wide Web. I'm talking to you through a microphone. Before we look at these special maps, we're going to do a quick location spotlight game called the Two Place with the Same Name game. And the two places with the same name we'll be looking at today are none other than Memphis, Tennessee, and Memphis, Egypt. Let's begin with the more famous of the two, Memphis, Egypt. So here we find ourselves in an excavation site in Memphis, Egypt, which is approximately 20 kilometers south of Cairo. I think this is a, uh, a statue of Ramses II. Memphis, Egypt is full of archaeological artifacts and ruins. Memphis was actually the capital of Egypt for eight dynasties. This region was known by many names, but it settled on Memphis which means Road of the Ram-Headed Sphinxes. This was a, a causeway for the dead that ran between Memphis and another place. Memphis eventually fell to ruin around the time the Romans came knocking and when uh, Christianity weaseled its way in as well. Good on ya. So that is the more famous of the Memphises. Memphises? Memphises. I don't know. Now let's talk about the other one. If you are of the Bible bashing variety, you might know Memphis in the Bible. It is known as Moph. M-O-P-H. I just drew it out for you with the cursor. So fascinating stuff. Now let's take a look at the lesser known Memphis. Memphis in Tennessee is obviously one of the music capitals of the world. It's the birthplace of rhythm and blues, but also rock and roll, maybe both as well as other music styles, I'm sure. So out of nearly the 100 Hall of Fame inductees, uh, Music Hall of Fame inductees, 20 are from the Memphis area, all within, I think, like 50 kilometers of Memphis, which is pretty amazing. Memphis is the second largest city, most popular city in Tennessee after Nashville, which no one's probably heard of. Oh, it's on the Mississippi River too. There you go. There's a little topographical, ge geographical, <laughs> topographical, geographical, a geography fact related to topography and rivers to end the same name place game <laughs> episode that I've just begun today, which I'm sure will take off wildly. If you have a suggestion for the same name place game, <laughs> it's not really a game, the same name place spotlight special bonanza then let me know what it is it could be anything it doesn't matter what it is i will compare them but the weirder the comparison the better all right so that's the end of that let's get out of memphis tennessee and memphis egypt it's the first time i've ever heard of memphis tennessee it's it's unreal okay so today i'm going to play three maps from three geoguessr pros the first one is by a very famous GeoGuessr pro called Trevor Rainbolt, who fares from California in Los Angeles, I believe. So Trevor Rainbolt is one of the best GeoGuessr players in the world and has really put this game on, on the map. So he's come up with this map. It's called Bad Guesses, I guess. I'm sure his spelling mistakes are intentional. Um, I don't know if this is his Bad Guesses. Anyway, let's play Trevor's map and then we'll move on to one, two more maps by two other GeoGuessr pros. All right, we will not allow moving. Okay, so I hate this first location. <laughs> Bad guesses. So what would Trevor have guessed? Who knows? I just assume this is Russia based on not a great deal. Wow, the coverage is kind of crappy. I don't know. Is it? Let's check out the car, see if we can get anything there. Long antenna at the back. Doesn't that mean it's Russia? I mean, anybody looking at this would guess Russia, wouldn't they? Is that what he did too? We've got this little waystone here, though. I'm looking at it from the wrong side, so I can't really tell what shape it is. You will know that most Russian coverage is in the west, and then there's a little, well, it, it, there's a lot all over Russia, but you know, it's not, the spread isn't too thick. That sounds weird. I mean, it was still Russia, wasn't it? Because Trevor's guesses are more nuanced than mine. And so that for me was a pretty good pick. This looks like Norway, doesn't it? With these buildings. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
think I'll just go Norway. I'm gonna go northern. All right, it was Finland. Yep, I'm pretty bad at this game. Okay, next cab off the rank we have. What do we got up here? Tele blah blah blah, tele la la la, tele performer, la la la. That's good reading of that language. Got some Arabic script here. Got a couple of people here, here. Got some paint cans that have been left out to save this car park, I imagine. But I think this guy's doing the real work here, saving this car park. All right, more Arabic text. Is this Tunisia? Got the. Oh no, what's that? It looks like the black spot on the number plate that you might see in South America, but we're not in South America, are we? What text is that? It's different again. Okay, is this going to be in... I'm in trouble. Where is it? So many languages I'm being presented with. This language here again. What is it? Hold on, one more time. It's not Hebrew, is it? I thought... I was thinking Ethiopia. Seeing lots of languages here, it's kind of frustrating. No, oh, this is Malaysia and Thailand. Oh no, I'm confused. Well, I guess we're in Malaysia then, but what about all the Arabic text? Is it even Arabic? I'm losing my mind. Maybe I never saw it at all. What language is this? Confusing, confusing. This looks fucking French to me. <laughs> this is a toughie, isn't it? I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this. It is probably just Africa. It's gonna go Tunisia, which is my first thought, but then I thought my way out of it. I saw the Arabic text, saw this scene, thought it was Tunisia. Then I saw the French, but I guess they do speak French in Tunisia. Then I saw another language. Anyway, I saw a lot of things. I almost made a terrible, terrible choice. I think this is probably right. We'll see. Thank fuck for that. All right, gosh, way to talk myself in, then out, then in again, into something again. That that almost sounded disgusting. Okay, is this going to be Switzerland? Is it? I don't know. Let's have another look. Or well, Slovenia. But Grange is Horts. That sounds French, doesn't it? I guess it just has to be in France, right? Like that's French. That building's looking pretty French over there, and. Um, Got this shape, which is a French shape. <laughs> but where would it be? Where would it be? Let's go look. Somewhere in the mountains. In the Pyrenees. Pyrenees Mountains. Yeah, we'll go somewhere there. Yippee! Right, on to the next. Oh, this place. Looks French again. Enterprise General. Well, I think we can all agree that that is the French language. Right there. But we're in France. Yet to be determined. Looks like a little modern-ish neighborhood. It's probably just a suburb of Paris. Well, not a suburb of Paris, but just somewhere in the, like, you know, the urban sprawl. Let's go to Paris and we'll go south of Paris, but not too far. Somewhere there. Ish. There ish. Excelente. Not a bad round on Rainbolt's map. It was all Europe. I had three good guesses around here. These two were pretty piss poor, as they say. All right, now let's go on to the next one. This is a learning opportunity. This is a US state specific clues map by the GeoGuessr Pro Chicago geographer. So Chicago geographer has the extremely soothing voice who specializes in the US on GeoGuessr. So if you are interested in picking up some really great tips, go and listen to his baritone voice at his channel, Chicago Geographer. All right, so let's play. Okay, let's see how well we do. Okay, the state-specific clue here is obviously a number plate. Sadly, I know nothing about US <laughs> number plates. I know one thing, and that one thing I'm, I, not, I don't often get right, which is that... Some states have front and back number plates and some states only have back number plates. But he's focused in on this one and I think this might be the number plate for Hawaii. It has a rainbow on it. Maybe you can kind of see a rainbow there. I'm not too sure. And also just by the fact that we see some palm trees. Is that enough though? Is that enough? Red lobster, surely that's everywhere. 
Fancy going to Hawaii and going to a Red Lobster. I don't know, maybe it's really good. I don't actually think this is Hawaii anymore, but I've already committed to guessing it. It's probably going to be like... Mm, no, if it was Florida, they would have no front number plate, wouldn't they? Anyway, as I said, I've committed to guessing Hawaii now, so Hawaii it is. Oh god. Yep, I'm good at the US. Really good. Okay, West Interstate 865. So, don't know what that means. <laughs> no idea, I'm just going to put it in the middle of the US. There's Indiana. Okay, how was I meant to figure that out? There it is, 805. I think I was looking at the wrong signs. I hope they're not all highway clue. Oh no. The light blue number plate of Colorado. That's... <laughs> No, I have no idea. But I'm going to guess Colorado now. DC. No, I'm going to guess Washington, DC. No, I'm going to guess Seattle. Oh no. I'm going to guess... Oh no, that looks like... That looks like the Capitol building or some shit over there. I think DC is DC. So yeah, we'll go Washington, DC. Big bada boom. Would you look at that? How, how super smart am I? Next up, we've got the South Fork Cotton... The CR Bridge, South Fork, Cotton, Cotton Never, Co Cotton Eva Crescent. Okay, I don't know, but I imagine this is in the South. I'm going for it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna go for Mississippi. Where is it? Not really. Yeah, anyway. Okay, it's over here in California. It's so clever me. Right, the Conlon development. I've got a mountain here. Complete construction management, residential, residential and commercial. See the Google car in the mirror. Doesn't mean shit to me though. Public parking, portable dentistry, yada yada yada. US Senator Suzanne Collins. Pawn shop. Mmm. Got a clock. Washington Street. I wonder how many Washington Streets are there. Three D's. Yikes, it's a lot of D. Is this the clock out of Back to the Future? I haven't found a single goddamn clue anywhere. I guess the style is perhaps northeastern, but who really knows? I did see, and maybe just because of the some of the street names, Washington, I saw one called York. I don't know. But I am going to guess somewhere northeastern, maybe Providence or something. Okay, in this city here called Bitherford. In there it is, the Pepperell Mill campus. What state was this? Was this in? Was it in New Hampshire? No, it was in Maine. Okay, amazing. Ah, I'm now a master expeditioner. Well done. Well done. Yes, what a master! I got ten thousand. But the U.S., as I said, is not my specialty at all. Thank you very much, Chicago geographer, for that map. And I think I learned one or two things mainly what the Hawaiian number plate doesn't look like. Okay, so this third map is by a GeoGuessr Pro called ZigZag. ZigZag is from Australia, from Adelaide, Australia to be exact, and I've learned a lot from this young man. He's probably the best GeoGuessr player in Australia. So I've gone through ZigZag's maps, and a lot of them have been played a lot, because he's quite well known on the World Wide Web, but I found this one. So one of the first maps he he's ever made and only seven people have played it so I thought I'd give this a crack it's called secret theme so I imagine he has hidden a theme in the locations which is something Geo Jessa or JC and I have done in the past as well so we're going to play this map and try and get a good score and also try and figure out what the secret theme is if that is what Zigzag's intention was let's check it out all right we've got Carnes Beto Achuras Carnes I think is meat I don't know much Spanish, sadly. We've got a little doggy, a couple of doggies. Okay, my thought was that it is in Uruguay or Paraguay. I'm gonna go with Uruguay somewhere outside of Montevideo, man. No. And it was in just in Argentina. All right, it wasn't too bad, I guess. Kind of bad. So I think the first clue was carnes, so it was meat. What have we got here? Viki Kaja. And drink bar and grill. What else? Cold Storm, Goldfinger. Where does this look like? Is this Montenegro? Or is this going to be in Latvia or Lithuania or Estonia or something like that? Oh, I got some flat. Oh, look. 
Oh, but we have more than one flag. That's the flag of Estonia. But I think, I think, given the fact that we thought that this could be one of those countries, that it probably is is Estonia, and also on this word here, Viki, which I guess means street, we have the double dots above the A, which is sometimes mistakenly called an umlaut. So an umlaut is something you find over German vowels. And when you see it, it alters the pronunciation of the word. But this one has a different name. It's called, what is it called? It's like a, fuck. Di diaresses, diaresses. I'll put the spelling up later when I edit this. I think diaresses or di. Anyway, and it's two dots that look like an umla, but it's used to let the reader know that each vowel should be pronounced separately. For example, I'm trying to think of a word now. Oh, okay. So the word Noel, like in Christmas carols or whatever, the first Noel. You don't say the first no, do you? <laughs> you say no well. So you, you pronounce each vowel separately. Another example might be the naive. You are saying the A and the I in naive separately. And so the umlaut is above, not the umlaut, oh my god. The diaresis is above one of the vowels that you need to say individually. Wow, I feel like I could have said that in so <laughs> many less words, but... There you go. And now I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. Guessing, guessing that this is Estonia. All right. There we go. Jesus Christ. And I think this diaresis is quite common in Estonia too. What are these guys doing? They're looking sus as. Just looking in this window and there's literally nothing there. Anyway, we'll just go to the capital for this one. Ah, excelente. Look at that. Oh, I actually got 5,000 points. Fuck. That's pretty good. Jesus. Yes. No. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I also forgot we were doing a secret theme. First was meat. Second, I saw drink. Now, what is this? We've got a little fucking piece of door. Concrete block. Got a crop here. It looks like some wheat that's been planted. I don't know where this is. My first thought was that it's probably South America, but then I also thought, wait, this could be Ireland or Scotland or... Because these kind of look like peat bogs, I thought. But then, do I actually know what a peat bog looks like? I don't think I do. I really don't think I do. So, basically I have no idea what continent this is. I'm just going to guess Argentina again. And check it, it was out here on the Canary Islands. So... What if what have we had so far? We had dogs. We have ca had canaries. Second round bar and grill. No idea. Some meaty smorgasbord of a theme here. All right, we have the law cham ch chamber chamber. I think this is in Africa, but is it actually? I guess looks like it could be an African name. And can't really see what that says. Doesn't say Kinshasa or something, does it? I wondered if this was the car, one of the cars you see in Madagascar, but I don't know if that's right or wrong. Would you know? And actually, not even positive that this is Africa, to be perfectly truthful. But I think I have to go for it anyway, and it might be safe to just pick somewhere in South Africa, Bloemfontein or whatever. Damn it. God damn it. It was Rwanda. All right. What was the theme? I thought I saw the letter K. Kigali. I thought it was Kinshasa. Still not picking up on the theme here, but I mean, it could be just an in-joke between Zigzag and one of his pals as well. Okay. Is this the Danish flag? I think it is. These flags have a particular name. I forget what they're called. Anyway, I wonder what the theme is no idea but final round we've got a little scarecrow out here that's doing one of those what's that move i don't know the airplane that'll do i think it's denmark we've got a birdie up here birdie kind of looks like an owl but it's the wrong time of day all right we'll just go in and pick denmark and i guess we'll just go somewhere near copenhagen Wait, where, where's Denmark at? Yeah, no idea. Just outside of Coop. There, that looks good. 
pretty close. So where were we in this little estate? We failed on guessing the theme and we failed overall as well. We did have a couple of good guesses though. Anyway, that's it. And that's also the end of the show. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Go and check out Zigzag and check out Chicago Geographer and check out Rainbolt as well. They're all completely different, but very generous in what they offer the geoguessa community. Thanks guys. I'll see you later.